bumps the axe. Prove yourself. I mean, ten charges. I mean, yeah, the very least, like, what? Yeah, three at the very least for every <laughs> burst of damage. And that's really useful for playing your spells. I don't know if they can actually kill the Undying here. Oh, they, no, no, they will kill him. Yep, he's in trouble. He's actually blocked in the trees. Unfortunate, because that Fissure sure enough blocked him. He should have been able to get through there, but I think the pathing up with, uh, I mean, 10 charges, or, yeah, at the very least, like, what? Yeah, 3 at the very least for every <laughs> burst of damage. And that's really useful for playing your spells. I don't know if they can actually kill the Undying here. Oh, they, no, no, they will kill him. Yep, he's in trouble. He's actually blocked in the trees. Unfortunate, because that Fissure sure enough blocked him. He should have been able to get through there, but I think the pathing... As you usually would have in lane. And you can see how our deck is actually playing really aggressively against two of them, because they're two melee heroes, and ideally, you can get a double decay on them all the time. In the bottom lane, they do my In the middle lane, we are seeing the Pugnan not dominate as much as I was expecting, honestly. I thought he was going to get a much huge, bigger advantage against the Necrophos. I guess Majestic being a huge deterrent here. In the top lane, they managed to kill off save finally. Scourge McDuck, the next target. But they can't kill him off as well. I don't know why Save was doing that, frankly. Sometimes I will, I will move away from the camera because I'm thinking, okay, Save is going to go back to base. I don't think to see here. I want to see what the middle lane is happening. And then Save will go back and be like, hey, guys, I want to die. And then, well, of course he does. As in the bottom lane, of Aiden also die. Interesting. That's quite interesting, actually. Hmm. I mean, even, even I've seen Tidehunters go for the 113 build, but never... So just a quick kill there. With Shackles, actually, they might be able to finish out the Earthshaker as well. Has a second Mangle. Doesn't need it. Your boy, JC, with really good positioning there. Not even a ward position there. And he actually gets two kills. Because Visage was, again, very cocky there. Kind of a mistake, I would say, there by the Visage as well. In the bottom lane, they also rotate. No, that's just Chobo uh, rotating after the rune. And they're going to find save, though. That Tombstone will put him in a difficult position. He will spin a bit more, but get dealt too much damage. No Berserker's Call means physical damage is lethal. Uh, that would just completely crush this lane, but they got the early game domination without the Magic Stick. It was a surprising lane, and that really condemned them. Can they destroy the Tombstone? They have a Sorp as well. They use it on Tombstone instead of the Phantom Lancer. Blackbeard might go down here. He's pretending like he's not that hero, but they will get the kill on save. But of course, uh, that's at the cost of Blackbeard's life, so not really worth it. In the bottom lane, Earthshaker will die here to the Shackles plus Life Drain. The Tombstone actually dropped down to save Blackbeard, and Blackbeard will survive this. Has a Magic State to come back into the fray if he wanted to. Scourge is looking for the opening against him. In the bottom lane, Evadium will die. Blackbeard against chased by Scourge. Blackbeard, oh, cancels on Spirit Bush, has to use the Magic Stick. But now, he has to go into the trees. The Battle Hunger, no, the crit will condemn him. As save, save Scourge McDuck's life as the TPs come by in. He's going to sacrifice himself for his PA to be able to TP out. Unfortunately, the TP's still in the backpack. They have to find Scourge McDuck before he can TP away. He goes to the trees. Because he didn't sort of the tombstone, now he actually doesn't have a chance to win this team fight. Even if they did to begin with, they're trying to stop the Reaper's Scythe, but I think they have it. Husky, two seconds. They actually don't need it. They're gonna go for the second kill instead. Pokemon turns the fray. The hasted up Husky though is really annoying to deal with. Another ward, also an annoyance here. They forced to destroy another blast constantly. A uh, gonna come with Ravage. There's a Reaper's Scythe. Husky though in trouble. Shackles catches him. Knife train as well. The Ravage is not available just yet, but Husky will go down regardless. This magic Stick plus Ravage has to use it now. They taunt him in time. Titaner, use your ultimate. They stun him too long. There's the Ravage just barely killing the Earthshaker but at the same time they managed to get a double kill because of the Culling Blade it took too long to happen and Chobo is now left alone with a teammates to hug to kiss to love Chobo without the heart of gold he used to have is only a pile of bones on the floor or they back to they actually underestimated a bit the support stuns or the stuns of the enemy team in general Blackbeard in the top lane. Jesus Christ, I think he's gonna get killed. More most stifling dagger. Blackbeard, go! In the trees! Try to use the shadows! And he actually does bring around the rosy, but no, they cut down the tree, which means there's no shadow shenanigans for you. Score Chobo. Plus the undying. It's only level five, so no amplification of damage is bad. Decrepit five used. They should have enough damage. Okay, now the blast is ridiculous. I forgot how much Lancer doesn't do too well against PA, especially not too well against Axe in lane, really. The PA is kind of annoying in lane, but then with the axe combined. He just didn't have I, I really thought that the lane would go better for them. And I miscalculated. There's a dead Phantom Lancer. I miscalculated. Fix it on it. I do speak quite quickly though, which is hard. It's quite difficult to get my segues. And I apologize for that. They'll find your boy JC. Nice to Crepify actually. Sets up for the axe. That's a dead axe. And now, they should be able to. But grabbing a Necrophos is a good idea to stop the Pogna from dominating him completely in the early game. I mean, well, what they're trying to do right now is just evade as much team fights as possible. Oh, Blackbeard. Nice illusion trick there. Actually forced the Berserker's Call out, which is nice because Save now can't stun him. So they are waiting for that stun from the Earthshaker, but he can't use the Enchant Totem or the Echo Slam. Chobo, though, could be in trouble. He starts sucking off the Axe, but Tide is mid. And Tide actually might be killed off mid. Reaper Scythe available, Stifling Dagger, to enough damage. Reaper Scythe, finished off Tide. No Ravage for you. Which means, actually, no Ravage for 60 seconds is huge. And your boy JC might also die down here as well. There's a first stun, second stun as well. Should hit him. And all they need is one more bout of da magical damage. They get it with that Soul Assumption. 
And Ravage really not gonna go for the Blink Dagger, which is so very useful on Shadow Shaman. If I look at Chobo, like, he is immediately <laughs> destroyed by the Visage. They actually kill off Blackbeard in the top lane easily. There's no way you can defend this. Honestly, when you have such a great team fight, the Roshan becomes such an easy take for you because if they do try to fight you, you win. Right? Even if they Ravage, like, it's just not a strong spell. 2.4 seconds of stun is meh. The damage is honestly meh as well. The only great thing is the area, but you don't, it's not that useful anymore when you have more. Half as our team fights. Nice BKB by Scorch Magdoka. It's a Ravage. But those snakes put Husky in a really difficult position. He can't heal back up in time. And Chobo actually destroys Axie with a Light Drain. They force the PA out. Echo Slime comes out at the end, though. PA is not here anymore, which means the Echo Slime was only used for damage there. No follow up, unfortunately. PA still alive, though. Joins back again. Thanks to Avatar, he's managed to control his team fight very, very well. And Avatar even gets the enchant totem before he actually dies here, which.